go electric, baby. <laughs> hey everybody thanks for watching i'm going to show you the build of the ninja step by step well as much as i have uh, i took a lot of photos didn't really do as much videoing as i'd like to then i'm going to go this one's the eight kilowatt and i did an unboxing of it there's the controller so ripped out the old tire i'm going to put the new one in this is going to be my little Ninja 250 with the 8 kilowatt motor. Uh, we're going to be running four Chevy Volt batteries, which are right there. That's going to give me right around uh, 95 amp hours. Um, not what I wanted, but it's all I can fit on this little guy. Uh, so right now, what I have to do, I'm going to bench test it, but I'm going to bench test it on the bike. I know that sounds stupid, but... Um, the kickstand actually holds it up, so I'll be able to just hook it all up, put it on the ground. So what I have to do is cut here and here, and then again here and here to have the motor hook in. Then there are these little pieces that bolt onto here and onto the motor to hold it in place uh, so it doesn't fly out the back or fly forward or anything else. Once that... Alright, sorry about the low light. I finished cutting out with my DeWalt drill. The holes for... or the space for the wheel. All right, so I don't have it all wired up yet, but we're getting close. I wanna show you where I'm at so far and just give you some tips and pointers of some really important things that you need to think about before you hit this up so you don't kill yourself if you're gonna do this. So I got two volt batteries connected in series. <clears throat> One thing that you wanna do is always uh, bench test your motors. So all I have that doing is sitting up there. I really didn't mount it. Uh, to it, didn't get everything there, it's just bolted. I mean, it's mounted, but it's just bolted in, it's not fully mounted. Um, it's because it's lifted off the ground, so I can put it on there and test it, just have it spin. When you're hooking up the batteries that you're using, you don't have to go full blast. So you can use just a little um, fuse. I also have the fuse connected to a kill switch. When you're dealing with this amount of volts, you just really want to be careful, and amps, you just really want to be careful that you don't fry your ass. So I have it all hooked up. I'm going to attempt to wire up the throttle and then give it a spin. So just wanted to give you that little advice. Like I said, you do not have to run it full blast. So this is not the final configuration. Um, but I have it running at low amperage just so I can test it out, low volts. Uh, if anything happens or is wired wrong, this will blow. I'm also able to turn it off and on so I don't, so I have a kill switch if something else goes wrong in the shorts. So you just want to make sure that you have everything as safe as possible. I don't want any of you to kill yourself. So as soon as I get the throttle wired up, I will show you guys the bench test of it. Um, I'm gonna go into more detail and do another video of the wiring because that spaghetti string of, uh, that spaghetti wire is just pretty difficult to figure out and wire up without any wire diagram, which are not provided. So I'm gonna try to draw one up for everyone. Um, yeah, so hope you guys like it. 
and I'll be back when we bench test. All right, so we have everything hooked up as far as being able to do a bench test on it. So it's off the ground, Let's see how it does. Um, there's a 30 amp fuse, so it can't pull all the juice as I showed you before, but. blowing smoke up because part of it's hitting the ground uh, periodically as it got as it got uh, faster and faster the tire started to expand and it um, started hitting the ground but that was only partial drop but guys been working on the bike sorry for the loud noise and so far we've got the hub motor mounted had to add these little pieces here or make these little pieces here um, to hold the motor steady how to fabricate this piece to fit on the fit the caliper on gonna mold the or put sheet metal in to hold that and it looks like so far, getting it done. All right, everybody, it's wire time. <sighs> the most hated time of building these bikes. Got my controller set in, got my battery set in, gauge set in, looking pretty cool so far. I got the fairings I gotta throw on, just make sure they all fit correctly. Building this bike in tandem with the Hayabusa. This will be done and I'll be riding her tomorrow. Um, one of the things about electric bikes is they're quiet. You can't hear the engine running. So people will walk by and hit the throttle and there your bike goes. Uh, one thing that you can do is actually wire in the um, disconnect to the controller to the uh, kickstand. So when the kickstand's down, nothing's on. As soon as I put the kickstand up, everything turns back on. Down, everything's off. Don't have to worry about somebody then touching your bike and doing it. Kickstand's up, shoots back on. So all you do is in the kickstand, there's usually a little um, relay here. Wire it up. You have a 12 positive lead coming off of your uh, controller and you just splice it into the existing wiring harness. And like I said, when this is down, everything turns off. And then when I kick it back up, everything's back on. So just a little tip. Hope it helps you. Something good to have, just a little safety feature. All right, guys. Wiring is probably one of the toughest parts of the whole process, which is why teaming up with Tricked Out Customs to uh, put together kits. Um, I can just show you real quick. Uh, 
just trying to figure out how to get the wires to go all the way through uh, to fit onto the tanks, to get your batteries hung appropriately. Make sure your wheel gap is good on the, uh, or your gap is good on the uh, brake. So I'm gonna keep uh, plugging away at this, wiring this one up. By far, takes the most time. Um, as I get through it, as I run into things, I'll let you guys know. But one thing I did do to make things a lot easier was pre-wire all of the, or put connectors on all the wires. So all I have to do is plug and play. Um, makes things so much easier. And yeah, so this is the Ninja 250 that I turned. Uh, after a couple weeks of work and some wiring, finally got everything hooked up and uh, taking her for a maiden voyage. Gonna rip up and down the street real quick and check it out. Acceleration is crazy. Really happy about how it turned out. And um, stay tuned. Right now, I just got this all done. Uh, I'm gonna take it over to Tricked Out. They're gonna do some more work on it. Um, trick it out, pretty much. And uh, follow the electric Hayabusa build. This one has a motor that's a quarter of the size of the one that I'm putting on the Hayabusa. So she'll be pretty decent. Just keep following. And uh, thanks for watching the build.